Many times we will receive a phone call where a customer would like to replace an existing multipoint lock with a premium quality stainless steel Hoppe HLS 9000 or HLS 7 series multipoint lock. While it may seem simple, and it might be, there could be issues that you or your contractor should be aware of before you begin the process. To help you make an initial determination, go to our website at www.us.hope.com. Under the heading Contact Us and Where to Purchase Replacement Parts, you'll find a document called Hope Replacement Questionnaire. In this video, we'll review this document so that you may understand why these questions are so important in your initial investigation. We suggest you download this document and utilize it as you review the video. Also, to help with terminology, we suggest you go to the website and under the heading Support, Installation Support, download the document HLS 9000 Multipoint Hardware System Terminology. Use this as an additional reference. First, look at the edge of the door. Is the faceplate for the lock short, like a single point lock? Does it extend the length of the door or only part of the door with a radius edge? Are there identifying manufacturer's marks on the faceplate, like the famous Hoppe logo? If so, and you're replacing a Hoppe product, you may find a direct drop-in replacement more quickly. If not, since there are fewer standards for this type of hardware in North America, it may require additional door preparation to get a product that will fit your door. Is the thumb turn or key above or below the handle? Also, it is important to note the finish of the faceplate. Is it silver, such as this silver zinc, or yellow, as in this yellow zinc, which are typical on mild steel? Or is it silver, as in this stainless steel Hoppe faceplate? Also, you need to note the width of the faceplate itself, 16 and 20 millimeter, are the most common sizes, that is 5 eighths of an inch and 25 30 seconds of an inch, respectively. Next, it is critical to identify the door panel height. This is important to note when determining the height of the top extension for a multipoint lock. After this, measure the handle height from the bottom of the panel to the center of the handle. On a hoppe lock, this is noted by a mark on the faceplate. Most frequently, this is 914 millimeters, or 36 inches. Now we will need three additional measurements on the door near or on the handle set. First, measure the distance from the center of the handle to the center of the thumb turn or key slot. Typically, this is 92 millimeter, or 3 and 5 eighths of an inch. Next, we'll measure from the edge of the door to the center of the handle. This is referred to as backset. Typically, this could be 35 millimeters, or 45 millimeters, 1 and 3 eighths of an inch, and 1 and 3 quarters of an inch, respectively. But it could be as high as 60 millimeter, or 70 millimeter, 2 and 3 eighths of an inch, or two and three quarters of an inch, respectively. Now, measure the length of the extended deadbolt. Most are 25 millimeter, one inch, but some may be shorter to accommodate a specific installation. Next, we must identify the type of locking points, how many there are in the system, and where they are located. On the Hoppe HLS 9000 system, you will need to push in the mishandling device to initiate the locking points into the open position. When measuring the location, measure from the center of the handle to the center of the locked point either up or down from the handle. Also, note each location if there are more than one locking points above or below the handle. Now, let's identify the type or types of locking points used on the door. This is a Hoppe tongue locking point. 
Notice that it is tapered to help pull your door in and improve the door's weather sealing capability. This is a Hoppe roller locking point. Please note that there is a surface that actually allows it to roll over the strike, making it smoother in operation than most. It too can be adjusted to improve weather sealing. This is a Hoppe round bolt locking point. It too is tapered to help seat the door properly on its weather stripping. This is the Hoppe swing hook locking point and it too is tapered. Are you beginning to see a pattern here? The next type of locking point is the Hoppe shoot bolt locking point. Yep, you guessed it, it's tapered. This locking point extends into a strike in the head and sill of your frame, so there is no need to measure the distance from the handle. This type of locking point is almost always used in pairs of doors on the inactive side as an anchor for the active door panel. It might be used as well alone or in combination with the other locking points on a door designed for higher performance in a high wind or rainy environment. Once you have filled out the form with the dimensions listed, you or your contractor can begin to look at the product catalogs on the website www.us.hope.com and try to identify a replacement for your existing product. There are an array of products to choose from, but the heading on the page should get you close to the system you need. Then, using the charts and measurements, you can get to an actual part number that you require. In some cases, you may need to contact customer service to find out if you can cut the faceplate to make it fit your panel. Also, if you have downloaded the document from this website, the examples may help if you have any questions about what you have seen on this video. We hope this video has demystified some of the world of multipoint locks, but if you have further questions or need further support and information, feel free to explore our website at www.us.hope.com.